Hey, you know, I got body shots here. Um, he was the guy was telling us yesterday <coughs> that after so many days, the guy was working here for like 60 something days. Um, and when he came out, he had to wear like a mask for so many months or something so that he his eyes would get used to seeing like the sunlight again. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. Because he had been in here in the darkness for so many days. I think it was 16 on days. He's always so Let me show you. I don't know if you saw that. I, I, saw, I saw everybody magically going into the right. ground, so I knew there was no, Because down in that wild cave section, like that little hole there, there's no lights throughout like there is in here. It's just you, your headlamp, knee pads, and gloves. And that's it. But Back in through there? Huh? Back in through there? Yeah. That's the crawling there. section? Yeah, that one there, the little red cone behind you, all these red You gotta go back and down through here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even fit through there. I fit a 220 pound man. Uh oh, ain't no way. It's mine over body. Uh uh. But this tunnel here, this is what we call the tunnel of dreams. Yeah, you could. So we used to allow all the stays inside of the cave. We don't allow them anywhere, though, because a group of Boy Scouts kind of ruined it for us. There's about 20 of them staying in the cave one night, and two of them decided they wasn't tired, went up to the reflection pool, and started drinking the water. Now, I told y'all guys what happens whenever you drink oh, this water. Okay. They drank about a whole gallon of our water. Put that into perspective, one cup is five cups of milk in that hand. These boys had a crappy time. They, they left stuff everywhere. We had to kick them out. And we had to pour bleach on the rock right there, which you can see just dissolved the rock entirely. So we didn't want to do it again. Didn't want to have to pour bleach on anything. So we put all those overnight stays to a stop. What Oh, they had to get their stomachs pumped because they drank so much water. Yeah. But all these stalactites you see broken off, yeah, the nasty stuff. All them stalactites you see broken off, that's from them raising up in the middle of the night, banking their head on them from getting there in a cave. Now, the Smith brothers and Leo Lambert both, and a lot of the poor guys in between, they used to come in here and break off a stalactite and what it weighed is what you paid. But they only grow one cubic inch every hundred years. So they don't grow back overnight. They kind of put it to a stop. That started something called the cave wars. People would come in here, clear a whole line of stalactites, grab them, and run out. So in 1988, the Cave Protection Act started. That statement was break 12 cubic inches of stalactites. Stalagmite, we're calling, it's about $100,000. They put a stop to it pretty quickly. Yep, so that's this one. I don't know about y'all, but I don't have $100,000 to pay for a stalactite. Uh, or a stalagma. For a piece of rock. <laughs> that is crazy. That's why I'm in there. Can you imagine? I don't think it'll be that bad. I don't know about that. Like, are you going to post that? I want someone left these. So, with that cold, they gave it back to 500,000 years old that started holding these feet. And that's because they just counted ring after ring after ring. I'll show you up here. So Hey, so this is what we call Yoda's hut. 
The Hobbit Hope, Shrek's House, The Salamander Speakeasy, whatever you want to call it, really, it's a cave in a cave. I call it all this, though, because it looks like you got a little tea jug, two little cups, a little plate, and a little bar. Kind of looks like someone would be hanging out all night. So I like to call it the Salamander Speakeasy. I like to think whenever they have a long day of touring, they just come down in here and hang out in that mood light. But this is that big old slag tie that I was telling you guys broke off. So if you see here, it's just ring after ring after ring. They carbon date it just like a tree, just counts rings. And it's entirely hollow all the way through. There's the little, yeah, just like, just like oak or something like that. And I'll come around to everybody. Yeah, you're even allowed to touch it if you want to. It's all up to you. Yeah, yeah, you're allowed to touch this. Mom touching it, you can touch it. That's my model. You want to feel how heavy this thing is, too? It's about 45 or 50 pounds. Yeah, imagine that falling off of the ceiling. Just falling off the ceiling and hitting you in the head. Or really hurt. <laughs> Sometimes the stalactites, the ones coming down from the ceiling, they'll go down and meet the ground without ever meeting a stalagmite. So that's just a stalactite as well. Now whenever they create a column, they're going to be like this. You can see it's meeting place every single time. So that's a column there. That right over there is a stalagmite. And the one behind me here is a stalagmite. Now you guys can touch some of this clay if you want to. You need to take a little bit of stones in our very big piece. But just don't eat it. Don't put it on your face. Nothing like that. You should be I'm holding in a cough right now. Cough interesting. It's okay. Alright, keep going, young. Like clay that you could buy from a store. I'm sure it 
Yeah, it's falling apart. I dropped half of it. Still have part of it though. I might have given you the part. There's not enough lights. I can't. It's pretty in here. My phone. It doesn't look that pretty whenever you look at it. But whenever you shine your phone on it, it kind of looks pretty. <coughs> Hey, this is that. No. Hey, uh, yeah, boys, girls. So, guys, this shield, uh, this little formation you see right here, this is called a cave shield. There's only 83 known cave systems in the whole entire U.S. with one or more cave shields. To put that into perspective, there is over 10,000 cave systems in Tennessee alone, and there is only 83 known cave systems with one of these in it. That's a deep hole. What is that? A cave shield is basically, uh, it's basically a flat surface growing off of the wall instead of on top. Now, I'm not just don't know how they That's a deep hole. There's two different top pockets. Who knows? Now I'm not putting my phone over that room. I'm holding on to their life. Don't do it. Now, that's pretty far to fetch. In my opinion, because we got one growing right next to it. The second hypothesis is that vertical water and horizontal water is seeping out of the cracks so of the rock that form that flat surface. If y'all guys want to come and look behind it though, it almost looks like a bachelor branch. I think that's the left hand. Imagine. Imagine how what? That's probably like billions, millions of years old. Millions? Yeah, probably, because if a stalactite's that big, it'll die. That's cool. From my camera, it looks like a little pool with lights around it. I wish you could turn on your flashlight with a phone and record at the same time. Right there. That's what you call cave bacon. Looks like a big old strip of bacon. Real fatty bacon, too. So that's why it's called cave bacon? Yeah, that's why it's called cave bacon, because it looks just like a strip of bacon. Oh. It's entirely yeah, hollow it all the way through. Yeah. Can't turn as well. It? No. Down in the wild cave section, these are what we call music rocks. Remember you got gloves on, you tap on them, and they all make different frequencies. Right. Let him go. So guys, we got something called an imaginary formation I want to show you guys before we get up and out of here. 
We got Abraham Lincoln up here. Tony's a pretty messy eater, has a wall on his shirt. I don't see anything. Not there. Big old Abraham Lincoln. Some people also see a genie coming out of a bottle. Where? I see a genie coming out of a bottle. I see a genie coming out of a bottle. So if you look at the ceiling up there, it looks like you got a big old grizzly bear. Yeah. On the ceiling, the shadow, it casts a big old grizzly bear. Whoa. I see nothing. That's another one of those imaginary formations. And for all y'all kids that like Minecraft, I'm not sure how many of there is. Over there we got our Minecraft block, y'all. Oh my gosh. Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all guys are ready to get up and watch Bye.